Hello, hello, my lovelies. Thought I would show you today this um, next journal. Um, this was one of the ones I said in the last journal that I had some in the works. So um, there's at least two more started that I'll be finishing soon. Let's see, it zooms in. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? Whoa, way too far. Okay, stop. Okay. So this one is um, different from the last three. This one is much lighter. It's a like a whitewashed gray with silver. I don't know if you can see, there we go. There we can see the silver. So this is all, like I was told, debossed. I like that. Um, so it's, it's raised from this fabric cover and then all the edges also have silver and then the spine has a beautiful debossed thing <laughs> an embellishment <laughs> a thing isn't that elegant and poignant a thing um gosh too much caffeine today so um this picture on the front there we go so she's not a mermaid she, it was it's just um it's just a very, very 150 year old, I think, artwork. Old, old artwork. I will try to look up and see who it was. I don't remember. Anyway, but she kind of reminded me of a mermaid or a siren. So this journal was done all in ocean colors with this whitewashed, um, like a dove gray, I guess. I don't know, it's real pretty. Um, it's showing up bluer on camera than it actually is. It's not quite, it's more of a neutral silvery gray. And on camera, it's showing up um, almost blue, but it's not. It's, it's not. It is gray. Gray is my favorite color, or as I affectionately call it, pastel black. It's my favorite color. Um, here on the spine is a chain with a vintage key and some cheesecloth and a little tag. So very simple and some sari silks and some seam binders ribbon. So there is a bunch of tags, bunch of tags. And of course it's closed like, like this. So the, the ribbon is enclosed in the, in the front and back covers. There is the back. Like I said, it looks really blue in person. It's more gray. So, any hoozles. Let's see here. I'll open this up and we'll get through this thing. So I think I'll probably name this one Siren Song, although it's not really, I mean, the colors are oceany, but it's just kind of vintage lady, I would say. I did some references kind of maybe-ish, like this fabric right here kind of looks like, like a mermaid scales, kind of pretty, I don't know. I don't know. You can you can make up your own mind about what you think about it. This is gorgeous um, fabric on the f fabric. This is paper. This is paper. <laughs> I need to slow down on the coffee. So here is a little picture in here. Here is a little um, burlap twine and a little pin. There's a little starfish and a little shelf. Um, a bead is it a bead I don't know is it a bead if it's a shell I don't know um, a little metal eight tag here and lots of fibers down in here some more vintage lady artwork so 160 plus pages of course tracing paper and sheet music and there's a so she's not a mermaid, but she's in the water. So, I don't know. You can make up your own mind. If this is your journal, it can be whatever you want. I just love gray and aqua <laughs> colors, so. There's a tag here. A little pocket here. And one over here. And one over here. So there's a little... And here's another shell. This is a button. So this is a little shell button and a little piece of flax twine and a clip. Some more artwork over here. 
in here on this pocket. Some notebook paper and some matte paper. And grid paper. And another pocket here. This one has a little uh, clip on it and it says wish with a little metal tag and some seam binders ribbon all in this sewn pocket. And here's a little, little folder of sorts, a place to journal on the inside tucked in there. Some sheet music. Big envelope in the middle here with a little pin stuck on with some flax twine. Some more artwork here. And here, there's another pocket with some ribbon sewn on. And some ledger paper. I stopped putting ephemera in because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to tie it shut. So, um, a lot of place to write and store your memories in here. Another pocket here with some cheesecloth attached to the side. And here are two pockets with some more artwork. Same artist, I believe. And some old lined paper. More ledger. And another piece of artwork here in this back, this back pocket. And here's another tuck spot here with some cheesecloth and some buttons and another one of those shell, I guess we're going to call it a bead. So a shell bead. And then there is the back cover. So lots and lots and lots in here. You can see why I had, I had to stop. So, so anyway, here is Siren Song. I hope you enjoyed this one. And there she is again for those who want to see. And there we go. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Um, any questions or anything, um, just put them down in the comments and I will get to those. I have a lot of comments I need to catch up on, so maybe I'll be able to do that tonight when the sun goes down and I'm not doing anything. So anyway, guys, have a good one and I will catch you very soon. Bye, guys.